Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in. Well, we got 2019 in the books. It's 2020, new year, new decade. Time for a fresh start. I'd like to thank everyone for the success of this channel. It would be nothing without you. We're almost at 2,500 subscribers. It should be there very soon. Once again, thank you. Uh, these are a little bit of some Black Friday, Cyber Monday leftovers that didn't get here in time before I filmed my um, video for the Black Friday Cyber Mondays and some of it's some after Christmas pickups so with no further ado let's get into this first off I'm gonna open a package we got from one of the subscribers from Michael Mall um, from Moat TV uh, he's been a loyal supporter of the channel let's check out what he sent me Okay, sent me an Atlanta Braves pillowcase. I appreciate that, bro. Good looking out. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That's pretty cool. You got the Atlanta Braves A with the Braves of the Tomahawk, like you see on their jerseys. So very nice. Thank you once again, Michael Mall. All right, the next is a Gwinnett Stripers pickup. If you follow the channel, you know I'm... Um, not a huge fan of the name change they announced about a month ago that they're changing one their home jersey Make some minor details to it so they put the old ones up for sale so i uh ended up picking one up Uh, they sent me the 2020 schedule for the Stripers. For those unaware, the Stripers are the AAA affiliate of the Atlanta Braves. Uh, they sent me a congratulations thing for picking up something. Alright, so I got the 2019 Gwinnett Stripers game used jersey of... Um, one of their pitchers, Philip Pfeiffer, he's actually been tearing it up in the Australian League right now, currently. Uh, he's been with the Braves for a few seasons in the minor leagues. Um, AAA is the highest he's made. Last year, he pitched um, in three different levels of the minor leagues of the Braves. He pitched uh, for the Florida Fire Frogs, Mississippi Braves, and Gwinnett Stripers. So he wasn't at um, the... Gwinnett Stripers for the entire season, but this was his game used jersey. Uh, the ones you buy in their store that the fans can buy are made by, I think, uh, OT Sports, but the ones they actually wear on the field are actually made by Rawlings. So they got the Stripers done in double tackle twill. They got the navy outlined in like the, I don't know what you call that, lime green maybe. They, uh, and they got the pinstripes, kind of like the Yankees jerseys. Then they got the piping coming down the middle, how the Braves jerseys um, do. They eliminated this piping for the 2020 jerseys. And they added a patch on this other sleeve that signifies um, them being, you know, uh, Atlanta Braves uh, AAA affiliate. All right, so on this one, they got one of their alternate logos on the left-hand sleeve. It's the striper fishtail coming up out of the water, swatting at the ball. Then we got the Rawlings logo up underneath it. Then they uh, got the pinstriping once again on the sleeve with the navy and the, I guess, lime green color. Okay, on the right sleeve, they have a commemorative patch. One of their longtime coaches in the Braves organization, Jose Moto passed away i believe it's from a heart attack if i'm not mistaken so they put a little round patch with his initials jm on the right sleeve i on the back got the number 24 i, I failed to 
show the 24 in the front. So they got a smaller 24 in the front under the stripers. So they got the 24 once again done in double tackle twill, the navy, the lime green. Then they got Pfeiffer's name sewn on to a name patch. As you can see, there's no striping going on to the name patch. So it's sewn on a white fabric, then sewn on to the jersey. This was the first season that they'd done this as the stripers because the previous year they um, did not include last names on the jerseys. And for those that follow the Braves, know that Ronald Acuna wore number 24 the year before. So I got this in size 48. Um, it was going for 100 bucks. I do see a little bit of a stain, which once again, it is game used. Right above the S. Kind of feels like pine tar or something. I almost think I can probably get that off though. because You can feel the texture to it. See if I can remove any right quick. I believe I can get that off, but uh, just wanted to get that. Oh, I forgot the has the MILB patch on the on the upper neck, and it has you know, Rawlings forty eight there. And I got this for a hundred bucks. They still have a few left on the site if you want to go check it out it's uh, ghoststripers.com so that's my first Gwinnett Stripers game used jersey added to the collection I got several of the Gwinnett Braves jerseys in the collection alright so the next item I think this is actually from Death Row Records from their official store this was a this was a pre-sale they had going on on Black Friday. Took almost a month to get it. Yeah, let's see. Not a hundred percent sure on the price. I know they had a uh, discount going at the time I bought it. So what it currently is is not what I paid for it. I want to say with the discount code I got it like in the high twenties. So it's basically this shirt that I have on that has Death Row Records going down the sleeve, but this is the red version with everything done in white. Very, very nice. Death Row Records, long sleeve. It's like the one I got on it has the Death Row Records going down the sleeve. They kind of mimicked their collaboration they did with the hundreds, if any of those are familiar with the collaboration they did with the hundreds. They had shirts like this, but it said uh, it said the hundreds going down the sleeve, so they kind of kind of copied that layout. Then it's got the uh, Death Row Records branding on the inside. Got a size XL. Very happy to add that to my Death Row uh, clothing collection. I probably have mm, a little over half a dozen different Death Row shirts, I guess. So that was. A leftover from Black Friday. I think this is an East Bay pickup. This was a really good deal. I couldn't pass up on it. So this jersey normally goes for a hundred dollars is what it has on the tagging. East Bay had it marked down 25% down to $75. Then I used a, a uh, promo code on top of that. Dropped it down to $56.25, so almost half price. So I figured you know you can't beat that. So I got Mr. Two Sport Man. Bo Diddley, Bo Jackson, got the Nike LA Raiders jersey. I have the Reebok version, but as y'all know, he ha he has shoe collaborations with Nike. Actually, I got one right down here. If I can get it out of the box. 
So you got that shoe there. Be a good match to that. So I do have a black Reebok version of this that I'll probably get rid of since I now have the Nike version because there for a while Reebok had the rights to make the jerseys so I had a I had to settle for the Reebok version. Also uh, Mitchell and S also has their own versions as well. So it's got um, heat pressed on numbers kind of like screen printed instead of sewn on numbers. Then the NFL lo logo is kind of rubberized on it. Kind of wish they would have kept it kind of old school and would have had the embroidered one on it, honestly. And wish this was single tackle twill sewn on, but, you know, it is what it is. It's got the 34 and the Nike swoosh on both sleeves. Very, very nice. Got the size XL. Got Jackson and the 34 again on the back. And... Down there, it's got the XL and the Nike branding on the tag. So, figure is a hell of a steal, can pass it up. The inside tagging is heat pressed on as well, as well as the jacks and everything on the back is all heat pressed on. So, happy to add that to the collection. I may be putting the Reebok one up for sale next time I do a uh, fitted and apparel sale, so be on the lookout if you're interested. All right. This is a new era pickup, but it's not a fitted. I know the box looks like it's probably a size for a fitted. But they had a 30% off sale on their site up until yesterday. I am filming this on January 1st. So December 31st was the last day of the sale. Oh, that's kind of cool. The inside of the box is black. All right. I saw this shirt... I think it was actually made by a different brand on Fanatics. They got the price blank on the packing slip. But um, I got this for 30% off. Oh, this shows it's $31.99, so you know, whatever the, let's see, that'd be what, oh, roughly nine, ten bucks knocked off. So the one I saw on Fanatics, I can't remember if it was actually a Fanatics branded tee or what it was. But I missed out on it, so I was a little bummed, and they end up selling out of all sizes. Well, I saw on the New Era site they, that they had it. One looked just like it, so I got a second chance at it. I got the Chicago Bulls City Editions for the 2019-2020 season. So it's got the bull done in the, in the UNC blue color with the white horns with the red tips, the red accents on the face. Very, very nice. It's got the, the flag on the right sleeve with the blue stripes and red stars. Then on the left sleeve, got the New Era flag logo on it. And it's got the New Era tagging there. I can't remember if I mentioned, but size XL, very, very nice. So happy I was able to get it to go with, if you follow the channel, I actually picked up the fitted that this matches. I still want to get the uh, Jordan 1 uh, Fearless, the one, the UNC to Chicago. I still want to get that. I think that would be a great match for that and the fitted. All right, down to my last pickup. This is an eBay pickup. This came from an individual, so I will not have any links to give you for this. Uh, the stuff over here that's still available, I'll post links for you. Alright, I've been eyeing this for a little while. I've been on my watch list on eBay, and they weren't really budging on the price. So I reached out to the seller and told them, you know, I know you've had this on here for over a month. And I sent them an offer, asked them would they accept it, and they did. So... picked up a used pair of 
Nike Air Force Ones done in the royal colorway. Anyone that follows the channel knows that the Jordan 1 Royal is my favorite shoe of all time. And I'm also an Air Force One fan. Uh, recently I picked up four other Air Force Ones. I have a video I recently put up if you want to check it out where I scored four pairs of Air Force Ones for $100 combined. I got these for $35. These are very, very good condition. Uh, looks like little to no toe box crease. But because it was the Royal Colorway, I had to get them. Very, very clean. Leather quality feels about normal to the typical, like, you know, the, the white Air Force Ones and stuff that you see sitting on the shelves. I'm not sure what year this is from. Having trouble reading the tagging. I can't tell if it says 2015 or 2016. But uh, very happy to add these, considering these would go for 90 brand new. And uh, I don't even remember these actually ever coming out. So very happy to get those. Uh, the bottoms are very clean, got a little bit of heel drag, but nothing terrible. Now, whoever owned them took very good care of them. Got the Nike Air on the back down in black. I'm not sure how far off the blue would be from uh, the Royals. Uh, the blue on the Royals I think is a little darker, but uh, it's pretty damn close. Yeah, it's definitely lighter on the Air Force One, but uh, still was in a colorway that that I'm a fan of, so couldn't pass it up. Doesn't really have much sock lint inside of it, so you know, whoever had them evidently didn't wear them wear them very long. Really wish I could read this tag. I, I have to wear reading glasses sometimes when I, I do a lot of computer work so uh, my up close vision isn't the greatest can't tell if it says 16 or 15 my apologies on that uh, they do not have the little Air Force One lace lock on it I may add that I do have some extras it does have a little additional Nike swoosh right above my finger while I'm pointing that some Air Force Ones do not have. But uh, overall, I think it was a really good deal. Probably give them a good cleaning before I start wearing them. Put in some sneaker shields. Got a little bit of discoloration on the sole there, but we can fix all that. We can either do that uh, white paint pen technique that I'd shown on the uh, how to whiten your soles for uh, $2. That video's one of my top videos on the channel then uh, or you also can use a uh, salon care 40 and paint it on there put saran wrap on it and lay it out in the sun it'll bleach it back to white so either one of those techniques should work debating if I want to uh, color in the air and the stripe either in blue or black I haven't decided may just leave it the way it is but uh, so Happy to add that to my Air Force One collection. So that gives me five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that gets me at an even dozen for the Air Force Ones in my collection. So now I got 12 Air Force Ones. So that's all my. Uh, I guess you'd say after Black Friday, Cyber Monday, after Christmas pickups. This is my first video of 2020. I hope everybody enjoyed. I apologize about that. My memory card on this camera for some reason, if I film over 20 minutes, 
will automatically shut the recording off. So I think I hit the 20 minute mark evidently. So I'm not 100% sure where it cut me off at. I do apologize, but I hope everybody had a happy new year uh, and, a, and a great Christmas. Uh, make 2020 yours. Please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Till next time, it's your boy Infamous C, the ATL Don sign out. Peace. I'm in the trap on the block with my vest and my clock. I'm that thug for my land, still ballin' like Pac. If my C be my name, they just trim my claim to fame. Mafioso be the clip that's gonna bring the pain. I